Hi everyone, this is Meji, Digital Creation Specialist at One Public Libraries. And today I'll show you how to 3D design with coding. What? Yes, we are going to use our lovely and friendly free application Tinkercad again to learn how to continuously design, run, review, and edit our code to stack, move, and rotate 3D objects like fly rocket. Let's dive in. I'm on Tinkercad. This is my dashboard. You're familiar with that if you've seen previous tutorials. Uh, for example, how to use uh, 3D designs feature on Tinkercad to design a 3D flower or how to make a very simple circuit board with circuits. Tinkercad, it's a web-based uh, software. You don't need to install anything. Just go and make an account on tinkercad.com and it's for free. So today we are going to use uh, code blocks. Like other uh, projects on Tinkercad, always there is a, a button create new so we click on that to start uh, very soon uh, you will see a starter design you can explore these but for today I prefer to start a uh, totally new design so click on new design and every time when you come here on code block you see the uh, work plane has actually two parts in one part you have uh, a dashboard very similar to scratch actually is modified based on scratch everything when i bring something here a shape or a movement any line of coding i will see the result on the work plane here suppose i wanted to design a very simple rocket and move it i think among these shapes and you see here on the uh, left side i have shapes so i can just scroll down to see different parts or i can click on these colors to see if i wanted to make a rocket and for making a rocket seems that among these shapes the body of the rocket should be a cylinder so i can click on cylinder and bring it here and for the top a cone would be okay so I can put the cone on the top and you see that there are it's kind of a magnet uh, attaching when you bring two uh, parts from the coding close to each other they attach to each other and uh, the last one is a star I'm using the star for the bottom part of the rocket. So I have cone, I have a cylinder and a star. And uh, I can just run it to see how it works. And you see that there are different colors. I can change the color, make all of them similar or change to the color I like. But I prefer this color code. It looks good to me. So I just click on that. And yeah, it brought these shapes and stacked them on top of each other because all of them are in the same location. When I look at those and you probably you're, you remember that how to move these, like we have a view cube or view box. When you click on each part, you can see from different angles or you can use your mouse it was a little bit fast so i can make the speed slower and see what's happening oh yeah or i can do that step by step now first step i have the cone because i put the cone on the top and then the next step cylinder comes because they are i mean the cone is in the same size and uh they stack in the same location after bringing the cylinder i cannot see the cone in the last part i see the star and there is another thing if you see all of them are in the middle so i wanted to do two things first i wanted to move these objects for example cone on the top of the cylinder and then cylinder a little bit 
up uh, at the same time I wanted to bring all of the objects on the top of the work plane not in the middle of the work plane so we can do it very easily with coding so I need three moves so if you go to modify we have move so I can put move here and then here and then here so for example for a star I just know that okay what is the size of the star the the radius and the height let me make it bigger the height is 10 5 millimeter underneath 5 millimeter on top if I bring I move it only 5 it's coming up on the Z axis so I put 5 here and now if we start let's make this be regular so now you see the star is in the right location it's on on the top so I wanted to move the cylinder similar so cylinder the height for cylinder is uh, 20 so 10 up 10 down I have to move 10 to bring it up so if I move again in the Z because all of the movement now is only on Z axis we just wanted to move them up change it to 10 and again okay you see that both the star and cylinder are in the good location the only thing left moving this if I move the cylinder only 10 I will level it to the work plane and then I have to move it 20 so in total 30 it should go 30 let's see and try it and see if it works or not if uh, this is very good uh, for you and your kids to try math but if you find it uh, a little bit complicated just try it just try different numbers and see what's happening okay it's not bad there are a couple of things I don't like for example I don't like this star here is there is a break here so it seems that five parts for a star is not enough so we have to change the size I can change the side here very easily for example change it to six and see what's happening yeah it, it's good for its sides it's good but radius I don't like it I think it's it's very unnatural so I change it I make it a little bit smaller for example something like 17 and try it again yeah now looks much much better like rocket another thing is bothering me is the height of the cylinder is too short for a rocket so I have to do a couple of changes I have to uh, extend the height which is it's very easy to do so for example if I change it from 20 to 40 it should be okay but there are two more things I have to fix but let's try to see which are those two things I have to fix so yes so as you see now we have two issues first issue is the cylinder came back a little bit down and the cone is not in the right location we have to move the cone upper like when we add uh, 20 we have to add or 20 here to make sure that it goes on the top of the cylinder so I'm changing and moving uh, cone 20 more millimeters should be okay and also I have to move the cylinder too because now it's after changing the height I added 20 millimeters so again 10 millimeters came back 10 out of that 20 came back down so I have to add this from 
10 to 20. So let's try again. Okay. If you wanted to have it as one object, you can group all of these together and you can make all of them in one color or just keep it as a multicolor to look so good on, on the screen. But they are grouped. So, for example, if you wanted to export them and uh, print them with a 3D printer in a STL format, it's good now. Another thing, probably you wanted to move this a little bit up to see how it goes. So I'm just clicking on that. Wonderful. Now it works exactly like a rocket. Yeah. Okay. So uh, there is one more thing I wanted to do that. And, uh, that's uh, share it. Suppose you wanted to share it with a friend. So you can make a GIF animation and then send that animation to everybody. So it takes a couple of second minutes, it depends on your computer to make that now i have the gif file you can email it to to your friends or you can just use it bring it uh, on the browser and leave it and you see okay the only thing uh, left i wanted to show you that like other uh, tinkercad projects just remember to change the name of the project to something you want because tinkercad by default create a funny name for any project when you start create new so you can just click on that and then change the name to something uh, you like it and that's it so i hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial have you code anything wonderful as always we love to feature your designs on vpl social media please remember to use hashtag vpl at home See you soon.